Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw and we are playing Criminal Case, another elite mode and this time we are back in the Pacific Bay. I've seen some of your suggestions, don't think I don't read your comments. Lots of you have been suggesting me cases from World Edition and I didn't want this to just be Elite Mode or World Edition. I'm gonna do another case of my choice. And that's going to be the very first case in Pacific Bay, Shark Attack. The reason why I chose this case is because it's because of Beach and Gaze 88. If you if you don't know guys, one of the suspects in this case was based on Beach and Gaze 88, Trevor Finn is his name, and and no guys. I don't I don't I don't know anything I'm not for, He's not, I'm not friends with pitching Ace 88, that's what I want to say. What if you guys ask me if I know what happened to Ace? But I don't, we don't know each other. I don't think he even knows that I exist, so... And as you've seen, uh, pitching Ace 88 hasn't posted any video in a while after he finished with City of Romance. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to get his attention somehow. <laughs> So I'm gonna do the very first case in Pacific Bay. So let's unlock it. And actually this case was... was a good introduction to Pacific Bay, if I can say it like that. Commissioner Katarina, there's been a shark attack at Sunny Beach. I need you to go to the beach now. Take Amy with you. Oh, what? Wait a minute, where's the cutscene where, where where Ace comes out and kills the shark? That's not here? Oh no, was it removed after the standalone Pacific Bay was added? Aww. I remember I remember the cutscene that me and Amy were walking down the beach and then somebody shot at a shark attack and then and then Ace appeared out of out of sudden and then kill the shark. Oh, I'm so sad it's not anymore in the game. That man the shark has killed, it is was Jimmy Lewis, also known as Ice P. He's the star of a local reality show. You're right, Commissioner Katrina. Something's fishy here. Ice P's hands are tied together with sticky tape. And you, his fingers have been cut off. He was fed to shark. We need to find a lead. You're right, recover the info. This paper might give us one. Excuse me, officers. I'm Dr. Finn, shark expert. I was on the beach. Let me know if I can be of any help. Oh, now you come. Stay here, Dr. Finn. We'll have a word with you. So, where should we start, Commissioner Katarina? Well, we're first going to start by collecting some stars and starting the autopsy. So, I speed you were killed by a shark, but your hands are tied and some of your fingers are missing. Is it a murder? Great to meet you, Commissioner Katarina. I'm Roxy, Roxy Sparks, corroder by day, party girl by night, and I hope you'll be joining us at happy hour tonight. Just no alcohol, please. Uh, Roxy, the chief sent out a memo about avoiding happy hour on weekdays, remember? Ah, uh, Amy, teacher respect as always, but let's get down to this great corpse you caught. <laughs> First, let me confirm that your victim's death was no accident, and that Shakira's murderer was indeed a shark. Now, I know this mark is on Ice Piece's skin, obviously the result of a struggle with his killer. I noticed a particular pattern to these markings, which indicates that they were made by a shell necklace. Your killer's taste in jewelry is pretty questionable, if you ask me. Great Commissioner Katarina. Now we know the killer wears a shell necklace, and I'm sure you'll soon spot someone matching that description. Yes, I will. Alright, let's dust the paper. Uh, 
Okay, meet and greet with Ice P. Nice cash, Kubishla Katrina. The soggy flower you found on the beach is an, an advertisement for a meet and greet session with our victim and his fans. The meet and greet took place yesterday on the boardwalk. I saw it in the newspaper. Katrina, if the killer went there, he might have left some clues. Excellent deduction, Amy. All right, let's have a chat with Ace. <laughs> Sir, you told us you were there doing the shark attack. Can you please elaborate? The shark attack is ever so exciting. No, thrilling. No, amazing. No wonder. Dr. Finn, a man has been killed. I'm not sure it's something you should be rejoicing over. But it was such a perfect kill. The scent of blood from this man's wounds would have titillated the shark's sensory system like a five-star meal. What a pity I had to kill it before it finished its mouthful. There's something worse than dying with indigestion. Of course, nobody can blame the poor shark for its instincts. Now, has anyone seen where I left my harpoon? I'm always losing the darn thing. Okay, goodbye Ace for now. <laughs> Okay, I don't remember that the interrogation went like that. Has that been changed as well? Looks like this case is going to be a new beginning for me. Well spotted, Katrina. This tour photo was probably taken during Ice Beast's meet and greet session with his fans. I wonder why he was destroyed though. Do you think you could piece it back together, Commissioner Katarina? I can. Okay, let's just the photo. And it's the only clue. Hello, Ice B. Like a boss. <laughs> Good job restoring the photo of our victim and a young fan, Commissioner Katarina. You're right, that woman in the background looks like she hates our victim. This is suspicious. Maybe if we send a picture over to our tech expert, she'll be able to identify the angry woman. Let's try it out. Oh, what? I can't do it? No? Oh, it's only gonna be 10 seconds. Oh. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I think that's exactly how long it would take me to identify her. Okay. Hi, Commissioner Katrina. I'm Hannah Choi. Take genius extraordinary. That photo you spy on the boardwalk was a super clue. You found the only local girl who hates high speed more than I do. Her name is Maggie Ryder, and she's a promising surf champion. What's more, she's already been given a restraining order against Ice P because she kept throwing seaweed at him and his film crew. But why would she do a thing like that? That's not very sportswomanly. Ah, oh, Amy. So sweet and so innocent. Why don't you ask Maggie directly? She's probably down at the beach. Well, that settles it, I suppose. Let's go talk to Maggie, Commissioner Katarina. All right, let's go. What do you want with me? I can't speak long. The waves are great at this time of day. I need to surf. 
Well, we heard about your tense relationship with the recently deceased Ice B and Commissioner Katarina once. Tense relationship? Ha! That's one word for it. Because of him and his stupid Ice B show, I might not make the surfing championships this year. But how could Ice B prevent you from training? His TV crew kept blocking my access to the ocean during prime training hours. They had absolutely no respect for this beach or the people who depend on it. Like me. Sunny Beach is the best surfing spot in Ocean Shore, so I'm glad that idiot got himself eaten. Now I have a chance of catching up on my training. Ooh. Well, it's clear that the filming of High Species reality show disturbed the lives of the locals in Ocean Shore. Well, of course. But is that a good enough reason to kill somebody? The shark attack was indeed very violent, Katarina. You're right. We need to investigate this beach once again. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Let's go. Good job, you found a victim's shade. We should collect some of these tiny feathers to look for clues. And once repaired, this broken watch might give us a new lead. Okay. Na 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 na. Just one. From first. <laughs> nice work, Katarina. You collected tiny feathers from the victim's chain. Now, Katarina, let's send them to the lab. We are gonna send them to Jan. Six hours. Okay, now the broken watch. Good job fixing this watch, Commissioner Katarina. Looks quite expensive. And you're right, it would be custom customized. There's a picture on the dial. Oh, it's a picture of Carly Lewis, Ice Beast's wife. So this watch must belong to our victim. I can't believe I forgot to inform you about Carly. Why well, it's not too late to go talk to her, Katarina. Let's go. Okay. Alright. Let's talk to Carly. Mrs. Carly Lewis, Commissioner Katrina would like to ask you some questions about your husband. Oh, my poor baby boo. He... he... he was so rich. Um, when did you see your husband for the last time? I assume you're both pretty busy filming your, re your rea reality show. It was on this beach. We were filming a scene in which Ice Beast surprised me with the most divine crystal bikini. But now, oh, oh, he'll never be able to buy me things again. I can't believe this is happening to me. Oh, oh, Mrs. Lewis, we're so sorry. But you know what they say: every dark cloud has its silver lining. Maybe this will be a good opportunity to. You're right! This tragedy will make a great season finale for the show. 
It will be the perfect thing to honor my poor baby Bruce's memory. Okay. Well, Miss Lewis is... Uh, something else. Her reaction to her husband's death was a little off-color, don't you think? Maybe a little suspicious. You reckon, Katrina. We'll definitely need to keep an eye on her. That's right. What are these feathers? Katrina, good to meet you. I'm young to a synth. I take care of all the forensic analysis. How did find the small feathers you found on your victim's chain? They are the soft, fine type that you find on the underbelly of parrots. Oh. However, finding feathers on one of your victims' possessions is exceptionally strange. Everyone in Pasebe knows he had a severe bird phobia. Oh yeah, so in one of the episodes of his show, he got attacked by a group of angry pigeons. And afterwards, people posted photos of Ice Speed crying and covered in feathers on the internet. Poor thing. So Ice Speed's killer must be in contact with parrots. We better write this down, Commissioner Katarina. Okay. Well, I hate to say this, but I really don't know where to turn next. Do you, Commissioner Katarina? You're right, recapping what we know will help us move forward. Let's see. Our victim was fed to a shark by a killer. A killer who wears a shell necklace and has recently been in contact with parrots. We also met our victim's wife, who has an interesting way of expressing her grief. And his local enemy, to suffer Maggie. Hey, do you guys have a minute? This is kind of embarrassing, but... Uh, I just had a freaky flashback from when I was at last at the Tiki Shack. It's still a bit blurry, but the point is... I'm pretty sure I saw your victim there. Oh. Well, it's a popular place in Ocean Shore. Ice Beam must have... You're not getting it! I saw your victim at the Tiki Shack right before he was killed. He didn't look too fresh either, and when he left, someone followed him. What? Roxy, are you seriously telling us you drank so much that you don't remember being the last person to see our victim alive? Well... Ah, you were drinking, so... Alright, we gotta stop here, we got two playing in chapter 2. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like for this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!